Whose man is this, bro? Wow. Oh, my bad. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> wow. I'm going one week and you decide you're going to start the show. Just I was gone last week, too. Oh, yeah, you was gone. I want to heal. Oh, you had a great show last week, by the way, gentlemen. I enjoyed it. Thank you. We try. I give it all to Sam. Like, she kept Tim on his P's and Tim had his best. I was chilling, <laughs> though. He had his best show and he wasn't even here. I was chilling. I don't <laughs> I even know what her presence about. calmed him. <laughs> we need her in the studio every week now. Right. Nah, I don't need me doing nothing, man. I was walking away from her. Yeah, okay. That sounds like a lie. So let's just start the show before you get in trouble. <laughs> before he actually tells what they was doing. <laughs> They're nice everywhere with Tim, man. You, <laughs> you got to keep it pushing. Welcome to episode 91, 91 of these, of Technical File, the sports podcast you never knew you needed. It's your boy, T-I-M-K-I-N-Z, <clears throat> the number three, a.k.a. Ass Ketchum, <laughs> a.k.a. Mr. Give It To Me. That wasn't creepy. That wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> How are y'all this week? <laughs> I'm the Eric J. Only known as? The Eric J. And I'm Camille, point guard of the crew, the real life Tifa Lockhart, the girl next door. You know, holding it down for all the women who love sports. And it's your boy, K. Harris, the gentleman. The, the gentleman. gentleman. The everyday gentleman. I don't know what to do. <laughs> You're supposed to come up with someone to fly. Um, start over. Start, 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 start over. Yeah. Rewind it. All right. It's your boy, K. Harris, the gentleman. You this ain't improv. <laughs> You, you, what the fuck, bro? All right, it's your boy, um, K. Harris, the gentleman. The, the gentleman. gentleman. The everyday gentleman. The gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> She's still a gentleman. Also known as K. Diddy. Better known as the people's champion. Is bro? <laughs> you trying to do a rebrand or something? Yeah, we out here. Branded B. Everyday media. We out here. <laughs> Tech file. Everyday gentleman. That man said... The gentleman. Who sat there just like we were supposed to be waiting or some shit. Fuck you, Tim. I missed you guys last week. Missed you too, my dom. Tim? Yeah. What you t- what you <coughs> sign like that for? I said, yeah. What? I didn't hear it yet, but go ahead and tell the people on social medias. All right, so. Why you yelling? He's been super I'm loud. excited to tell you that you can find us on Facebook <laughs> at Technical File Podcast. <laughs> or you can join our Facebook Overtime group at Technical File Pod Overtime. Or you can mosey on over to www.technicalfile.com. <laughs> Make sure you put the K on that motherfucker. Put a K on it. Man. Don't let them change You'll it. also find the links, mm-hmm. which is the same link, oh. to at Technical File on Instagram and Twitter. Mm-hmm. Mm. Go ahead, share, like. Present these things to your friends and family. <laughs> Fuck with us. Present this thing. Put Present us these on. things. You just taking care of parts this week? Okay. Oh, no. You're good. Go no, ahead. No, he, they go, he they on the put us on. He flowing. And I'm going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Seuss, baby. This would have a beautiful Nick night. Patty whack. <laughs> <laughs> Give that dog like, that dog bone. bone. <laughs> so it won't run home. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now that Tim's done, can we tell everybody? (laughs) If y'all love hearing that bullshit, Tim be on every week. (laughs) This tomfoolery that Tim be on every week. But if y'all, you know, like I always say every week, man, we don't grow without y'all. So, you know, y'all enjoy listening to the pod every week and, you know, listening to what we do. You know, definitely share it to a friend, co-worker, family member. We don't grow without y'all, man. Technical, technical file family out here. Technical. Technical. <laughs> they got caught in the throat. Oh, what? No. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Jesus oh. Christ. By the way. Oh, oh. Podcast throat. music battle. Speaking of throat. March 12th. <laughs> Shut your monkey ass up. <laughs> March 12th, right? I thought it was the 16th. Is it the 16th? How you gonna announce this shit? Even, how you announce this shit and don't even know the date? Okay. So What's confident. wrong with him, dude? Who's man? This is your boy, T I M K I N Z, D number three. I'm gonna present to you the <laughs> podcast music battle, March 16th, between 72 and 10, and Sweats and Suits. Come on down. I will be your host there with my cape on. 
with my microphone in my hand doing the with thing. Tassels. Tassels, titty tassels everywhere. Wait a minute. <laughs> titty tassels Your mic everywhere. Your mic in your hand. I don't think I'm going to be there, God damn it. Talk about titty tassels and mics in your hand. You got to come on down to Milwaukee Nights Pub. No, that's all like a show I want to be in, man. Be the last music battle for this season. It's gonna be fun. I think I caught a little it's bit. It's the though. finale. It's the finale. Check it out. Horrible. Perfect. If that was a real promo, yeah. that would have been a horrible promo. <laughs> that sounded like it was like the inserted worst. in a V one hundred commercial break. <laughs> the fine print words and shit. Right, Bring really your smooth as brother Brown. Like that. <laughs> that's when you switch to Kiss FM. Nah, I'm not listening to this. The ones where they have like two hood of a dialect. Break. Yep. Hey, bros. <laughs> bros. <laughs> bro ham. <laughs> Come on out. You want us to get, you want to get down with us? <laughs> It'll be lit. Right. <laughs> Don't be a square. <laughs> they be mixing up decades of, right. of jive. <laughs> Don't jive. Don't, Don't be a jive turkey. <laughs> Then dab on them. Hell no. Okay. <laughs> wow. You know, white people love dabbing, but go to a white person to dab. That'll make their damn day. I'm telling you. Right now, y'all do. When y'all listening to this, y'all go to work tomorrow. Guess what? Hey, Karen, a dab on her. I guarantee she's going she to be grinning like a motherfucker. <laughs> Tim can't do that. He don't think nice. <laughs> hey, that can't even do it. They gonna think I'm attacking their ass and shit. <laughs> Tim here doing like, don't run. He's don't here run. saying gang signs. <laughs> He's throwing gang signs off now. <laughs> All right. All right. This is gonna be a show for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he chased me looking like the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> I think everybody Terrible. at the party for the first time in a long time. It's a party party. Not okay. everybody. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start the show now. And leading off. So the NBA season, about three-fourths through, about 75% through. We've done check-ins at the quarter mark so far. So let's check in again since we're three-fourths of the way through. <coughs> let's. let's start with playoff predictions. So they can read this, but listeners, I'm going to read this off we're gonna, one, at a time. <laughs> one at a time. Tim? <laughs> In the East, you have Boston, Toronto, Milwaukee, Philly, Indy, Washington, Miami, New York. Damn. <laughs> Let's say. Eric, in the East, you have Boston. We don't even have to read that. <laughs> you have, we, don't have, we don't even have to go there. You have Boston, Toronto, Milwaukee, Philly. Same top four as S10. Miami, Indiana, <laughs> Cleveland, and Washington. <laughs> Right. I do want to point out that I picked Washington like as a protest just because I didn't. Yeah, I I ain't. I ain't, I ain't Why not that bad? But Cleveland, Cleveland, yeah, you know, should have. It. I hear you. I had a. Uh, I had Boston, Milwaukee, Toronto, Kevin Hart, Philly. Kevin Love got hurt. That's what. That's that's my story. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Boston, Milwaukee, Toronto, Fi- Toronto, Philly. So I had Milwaukee second. Unlike the other two here. Indiana, Miami, Washington, Charlotte. Ugh. <clears throat> Started off strong there. Mine wasn't that bad, though. Ken had Boston, Toronto, Philly, Milwaukee, Washington, Indiana, Miami, Detroit. Wasn't that bad. <clears throat> Good uh, foresight on Detroit. Yeah. I don't know how you... I seen it. You figured that. Mm-hmm. I did my... You know what? That's so Raven. <laughs> when she do that. <laughs> so what's your explanation for Washington then? <sighs> he didn't look at them. Um, see, what happened was, <laughs> if John Wall didn't get hurt, we would have been straight. They well, probably would have made the playoffs with John Wall. That's what I'm saying. That's fair. And I picked Miami that high because I thought they were getting Jimmy Butler at the time. Yeah, you were very you were very bullish on that. Which they almost did. They almost did. Apparently they didn't want to trade Josh Richardson. Which, in Which, retrospect. Yep. Should have pulled that trigger. <laughs> Wait, who should have? Uh, Miami. I would have. Shit, no. <laughs> Josh Richardson is better than Jimmy Butler now. Mmm. Mm. One aspect. Elaborate. As a basketball player. Elaborate. As <laughs> Overall. Well, okay, I would prefer to have Josh Richardson over Jimmy Butler right now. And their production is close enough to where all the other shit matters. That I can agree with. And the contract that he's on. Okay. I'll give you all that. I'll give you that point. Is he as consistent? Yes. Like he's their number one option. Hmm. Who else they got? They riding D Wade till the wheels fall off. <laughs> Man, He's literally. trying to deliver, dog. <laughs> He's giving also, him everything he got. I have to say, I I don't care that you got braids, D Wade. <laughs> I really oh. don't. That's cool. Jerry if you want to grab your right, your Jerry last little bit of hip hop, that your your decision. But I know your head hurt. 
Like I saw the, Shit, looking at him gave me a headache. I'm saying, if you've Big never gotten group. your head braided, your Big hair group, braided, all them edges. That's a pain on like no other one. It's too tight because you can't do anything about it. It's just there. He, he got a surprised <laughs> look on his face. All the <laughs> his scalp just red. It's just too much. It's too much. Okay. Under duress. <clears throat> In the West, Tim, you had Houston, Golden State, Utah, L.A., Denver, Oklahoma City, Portland, and New Orleans. Hmm. L.A. Lakers. Yes, L.A. Lakers. Any, any, you just think I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm just like, okay, that wasn't, that wasn't <laughs> terrible. That wasn't terrible. No. Like, New Orleans could have been there. If AD wasn't. <clears throat> Nah. On some bullshit. They play better without them. At least now. Dude, they might end up with a better record than the Lakers. Yeah. Damn. I think they're only two games back now. Ken just put his head down <laughs> at the deepest of sides. Just sunk. Y'all couldn't see it. But that it one, was... Yeah, it wasn't terrible. That's crazy. I think <laughs> Houston would make they push, especially when they get both their superstars back together. Aren't they back they together? They are back now? together. They've been together for a little while now. Is it a little while? Long, long at time least, ago. At least since the All Star break. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, Chris Paul's been playing for a little while now. I was say I know Paul, but then one when, when Paul came back, Harden was out. Well, he, he was only like out for like that one game. Just a game. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. When did we get? <laughs> <laughs> Eric had Golden State, Houston, Utah, L.A. Lakers, San Antonio, Oklahoma City, Denver, New Orleans. Thoughts <laughs> on how that played out. <clears throat> Uh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no explanation. Like, who did I miss? So, I, obviously, I had the San Lakers Antonio. and... No, I got San Antonio in there. San Antonio They're is currently the eight seed right now. Yeah. Mm. So, Lakers and New Orleans are the ones that I got wrong. So, who else is in? Portland and... The Clippers. Did you got the Clippers? Yeah. No, I didn't. I was close to picking them, but that won't count. All right, my turn for a train wreck. I had Golden State, Houston, Utah, Denver, the Lakers, the Thunder, Portland, and San Antonio. Oh, it's not too bad, Camille. You only missed one. I only yep. got one off so I mean, far. for now. San Antonio for now, I don't think off. San Antonio is going to make it to the playoffs. <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm hoping for Sacramento. <clears throat> hmm. It would be funny if it the Clippers, who are trying their damnedest not to make the playoffs, wind up with like the highest seed out of everybody. Yeah. They said they're LA's team. They're the best team in LA. I mean, they don't have much competition. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Uh, the fuck? They don't. Do they? They don't. Moving on. Montrez Morrell <laughs> is busting up 32. Works him up, bro. We didn't even ask all that. Pat Beverly was talking his shit last yeah. night. Yeah. He? he got it off. Woo. Pause. But woo. We go bounce and back. He he been holding on to that hurt for a long time. Mm-hmm. Hey, and we still got to get to Kuzma and LeBron. What about him? Oh, you ain't see him push him? Oh. Nah. Good teammate. I mean, I saw something on there where, like, actually, like, it was just a switch and, like, what's LeBron name was slow. To no, rotate. that Kuzma didn't fight through the switch. So, like, that was actually his man that got open. So, he just pushed LeBron over to the garden. Either way it goes. I don't, fuck it. No, fuck the bullshit. Being a good teammate. Play some damn defense. He got tired of seeing that man standing around. <laughs> God damn, LeBron got the fucking way. Your man's over there. <laughs> Get over there and push his ass. LeBron gonna turn around. Dude missed the shot. Gallinari missed. And then LeBron's still looking at his ass up the court. Chold ass up here and then put some offense. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. LeBron look like they daddy, though, out there. Like, for real. He, he look old, like, I mean, he yeah, old man James old right now. So I don't, Especially I don't in know, basketball man. years. Like, yeah, he been we, hooping for a long time. We're mm-hmm. gonna, we gonna bring it together, though. This year, 18? We're gonna push. No. He was drafted in 2003, 16, so. Then, right? 16? Yeah, this year 16. So, yeah, pretty much their entire lives, like, LeBron James has been an NBA yeah. player. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Old man LeBron. Everybody else in this cohort is having a farewell tour, farewell tour out, for the he, most part. He's going to be lit. I don't know. You don't know what? Speaking of which. I don't know how lit it'll be. Well, we'll get to that. Hmm. Let's say. I had a, a question, too, about that. Don't let me forget. Okay. About what? LeBron. Okay. Uh, Ken, in the West, you had Golden State, Houston, the Thunder, the Lakers, the Nuggets. Good, good, good on you. Uh, you had the Nuggets. We all had, had the, the nuggets. nuggets. Ring me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know how did they think I did anything special. <laughs> New Orleans, Utah, and San Antonio. So you were, you were just off with the uh, Lakers. 
<laughs> don't lose hope. You said don't lose the hoop? Don't lose hope. <laughs> you lost the hope. You look defeated. <laughs> you lost all of it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I am. It's, it's exhausting right now. Fans you know, were like chanting, we want Kobe. And we do too. <laughs> Damn. Kobe wouldn't quit on us. That's the only Why not thing. Just like about two weeks LeBron? ago, he was like, yeah. he broke your spirit in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. man. He, oh, Oof. man. God damn. Oof. Oof. Yeah, Y'all was Bucks, begging for LeBron. The Bucks' biggest problem is they just lost two games in a row for the first time. They to the same LeBron. team for the first time. I'm rocking, I'm rocking with first the Bucks world in the playoffs, like though. We out here. You working on who? Bucks in the playoffs. We out here. Oh, you coming out that I got, I got my Giannis jersey on standby. <laughs> you probably do got a Giannis jersey at home. Oh, I found it. Never mind. I ain't even going to blow up the spot because I ain't ordered them yet. So I ain't going to uh, say nothing. Okay. I found some online. MVP predictions. We all thought it was going to be LeBron James. LeBron of, James. LeBron James. Do you want to get your LeBron take off now or do you want to wait? Tim? You the one Dude, looking around make, like. Don't let you oh, forget. Oh, I thought it was going to be MVP. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you. So, if you wanted to get your LeBron take off now, <laughs> because we're talking about LeBron, Tim's Tom Fool, and that's the response you give me. Oh, I thought he was gonna be a VP. <laughs> what? That's what we waited for, dude. I told you, tell me he was disappointed. What is that kid in class who clearly wasn't listening? <laughs> and then they Huge. answer the question and be like, "Grapefruit and like we talking about <laughs> math? What are you talking?" <laughs> that was Tim. Oh, sorry, Tim is a um, huge disappointment, dude. Honestly, he could still probably end up with it if the Lakers get the AC. That ain't what we talk. You said you had something to say about oh, LeBron James. Bring him again. We're please. talking about LeBron James now. She said, "Do you oh, want that to get- take?" <laughs> <laughs> Dude, where are you right now? Tim is not even I here, don't bro. Know. He's not even here, dog. <laughs> not even yeah, he just, he, Tim is he definitely on somewhere planet, else. <laughs> he is definitely somewhere else right now. He on Krypton. Oh shit. shit. Uh, I've been looking down at something. Damn. Um, <laughs> he hasn't been. No. Oh, weird question. Is LeBron overrated? <laughs> no. No. Definitely not. He finally made his ass. He got his ass over to the West, and they whooping the shit out of him. He's also he's 30, old, thirty-three years yeah. old. Who, and who's to say that enough. he can't have done that? It wouldn't have been the same thing then, because the West has always been stacked since he's he been was playing. Better then. Because he was clearly better then. Wait, wait. Okay, but still, <laughs> he was like two steps faster. Does the does the LeBron <laughs> that we know now of the, all the championships running through the East exist if he went through the West? Is he overrated he because he made, only stayed in the week East? Would he would he have made eight straight finals? No, and everybody said that when he was making eight straight finals, yeah. like that's not any. Anything new that's been calculated into his value as a player, right? So, which leads me to ask: Is he overrated? No, no. I'm saying like you can't he's say rated. Overrated. Part of his rating is that he, he made it to eight straight East. finals in the East. Hmm. So it's not like this. Like is that's anything a, new. It's not of, like somebody's like, oh, he got exposed because he never like. That's no, one we of the, the whole time for Jordan, right? And over all, LeBron right. is like LeBron had an easier path. And also, are we going to pretend like this team is good? Oh, no. No, this team's trash. So how's that on LeBron? Because a lot of people look at LeBron as the savior to even the worst teams. Like that Cavs team he dragged to the finals. He, Yeah, he did. So a lot but, of people put the stake on LeBron. LeBron's guaranteed playoffs. I think even you said that. But that was also like over 10 years ago. Yeah. This was as recent as look, this year. Last year. Before I mean, the season that's started, part of, that's part of why we. That's part of why I think all of us picked him to be MVP, and we all had the Lakers in the playoffs. Yeah, because we thought he would lead them into playoff right. contention. And he also missed eighteen games, which is when their season took a nosedive. Because weren't they fourth before he got hurt? Yeah, yeah. Like so, and then the whole fiasco. Right. Yeah, like it's a lot of stuff that happened once he got. Like there's hurt. context behind them not being good this year. Yeah. Now this group, after all everything that happened this year, I don't think can exist. Anymore oh, after no. this season, so we gotta blow it up and get rid of the coach. Oh yeah, he, oh, he gone. gone. He gone. He gone. That was no question. As soon as LeBron landed, he was gone. Tyron Lue for the come in the coach. <laughs> Jason Kidd, bro. That's Watch. that's probably best that's case scenario be. is that it, it's Ty Lue. That's what I hope because it's either gonna be Mark Jackson or Man. Jason, Jason Kidd. Kidd. Dog, that is <laughs> trash, dog. Jason Kidd coaching his Lakers squad to be trash, dog. I don't know how you can look at the Bucks this year and be like, oh, yeah, we'll take Jason Kidd. Dog. Facts. He a fucking cancer, bro. What you can give Kidd credit for is helping develop Giannis. But that's 
and he yeah. also was detrimental to his development. I was like, that was going to happen otherwise. regardless, though. Yeah. Right, LeBron, and detrimental to a lot of other people on that team. And he, like, cratered. I mean, like, the injuries didn't help, but he also killed, like, Jabari's confidence. And Fair didn't enough. do shit for him. Like, part of coaching is knowing your personnel. And part of management is knowing people. your personnel and knowing, like, how to deal with different people. So, like, Giannis and apparently Chris Middleton, like, they respond to being pushed and being talked to that way. Jabari, like, they said he clammed up. Like, yeah. some people you got kicking the ass, some people you got to pat on the back. And he don't know how to do that. Hmm. Which are you? I need a kick in the ass. I was always the... Yes, you do. <laughs> a swift one. True no, words have never been told. A swift <laughs> kick to the ass. If you can... <laughs> Actually, I was kind of both. I was like, I was the... You needed to push me to get me going, but then I needed that recognition once I got there. Does that make sense? Why are you talking to past? That makes sense to me. Mm, that's a deep question. We don't have time to delve into that. <laughs> not right now. Rookie of the year. So our original predictions. Tim had Trey Young. Me and Eric had Luca. Luca. Can't pick Aiton. Mm-hmm. There <laughs> is, like honestly, there isn't a bad pick out of any of those three. No. Like those are the I three best Luka, rookies. Like Luca's going to get the award, but that's but Trey. Wait, 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 wait. He's going to get the award because the people that vote on it have already like. Like, they gave it to him back in October, basically. Yeah. And, like, that's part of my reason. Like, that's part of my issue with, like, the way that Luke has been covered. Because it's, like, people, like... Anointed they him? Anointed him, like, before he was even driving. Like, he's the best player to ever come out in uh, Europe. And he's going to be this and that. And he's the MVP of the EuroLeague and all this other stuff. And people teams are stupid for passing on him. Like, not, not really. Like, he's good. And he's, uh, like, obviously, he's very good. Like, he's averaging 20 points, whatever rebounds, assists. Like, he's putting up numbers that 19-year-old hasn't sent LeBron. Right. But also, Aiton has been very good and is a franchise player. Marvin Bagley came on before he got hurt and it is possibly a franchise player. Trey Young has been killing on it. On fucking fire. Right. <laughs> and he should be in the Ridiculous. conversation for Rookie of the Year. But, again, like, these people that vote on the awards have already, like, decided, like, Luca's so far in front. He's been doing it all year. Blah blah blah. It's like you don't have to trash everybody else because you like a certain player. Yeah, and that's fair. Like teams aren't stupid for making the decision that was best for their what they felt was best for their organization. Like we're talking about some bad organizations also, but I'm just saying like the decision like are you traded Trey Young for Luca? Yeah, like, and a first round pick. Like they also have a lottery pick coming this year, in addition to Trey Young. So it's Trey Young plus whoever they get this year, like for Luca, right? Like that's it's it's a justifiable trade. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because honestly, right now you can take either or at this at this stage, you can take either or. Like, exactly. No, there was no clear winner. There was there was a even swap. But I think both went to the perfect situation for them. Yep. Yep. And that's one thing with the Luca Trey Young conversation that irritates me. It's like both players can be good. Mm-hmm. They can both be in situations that work out best for them. They're always going to be linked though because mm-hmm. of that. Yeah. So it's going to be a conversation that we're going to be having next year, year after that, Luca or Trey. But all in all, I'm happy for both of them. I'm mm-hmm. happy for all these these young men. Mm-hmm. So Except I don't the really whole care. top five, like yeah, yeah they they're balling. balling. We ain't mentioned Jared Jackson Jr., but before he got hurt, yeah, mm-hmm. like that's Better probably a thought. defensive player of the year in the very near future. So and he can hit threes and take people off the dribble. NBA is going to be good. seven feet tall. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was like, Dante was he was playing hella defense before Dante. he got hurt. Oh, why Dante? Oh, DiVincenzo? Yeah, really. You brought him into this conversation. Yeah, I mean, he was having a decent <laughs> season before he got hurt. What was he though? For a rookie. What was he though? He wasn't having a phenomenal rookie. Oh, yeah. What? A decent rookie. Mm-hmm. Like, regular rookie. He, he might be a mid Why do you even bring him in Right, like, right. we, we talk about people up here. I mean, I had to bring in the hometown. It's like we talk about Jordan and Kobe and LeBron, and you bring up Dante Jones or some shit. Like, <laughs> soup. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Earl. <laughs> oh, wait, who was I thinking of? No, I was thinking of the other Dante Jones. Like, uh, the one that played for like the dude with the big ass head. He's like a shooting guard. <laughs> for sure. D A. No, you talk about Damon Jones. I'm talking about Dante Jones. For sure. Tim don't even know. Tim don't even know. He lost. Original yeah. finals matchup predictions. Tim had the Rockets and the Raptors. <laughs> Eric had the Warriors and the Celtics. I had the Warriors and the Bucks. And Ken had Warriors and Celtics. 
Why do I remember him picking the Lakers? Hmm. I think he changed it like at after. the last minute. Oh, okay. Mm. No, when he changed it to eventually, he said as a as a joke, he said Milwaukee versus LA, but he didn't mean it. Oh, okay. It's on yeah. the episode. I it played oh, back yeah. in my head. But it's uh, I'm cool. I'm sticking with what I had. Warriors and Bucks. Let's do it. Do it to it. That'd know. be lit. Well, who's been more disappointed? And I know what you'll say, but Lakers or Celtics? The Celtics. Celtics, because I think you can explain in a more logical reason why the Lakers are where they are right now. Like you could have, like yeah. there was, you could have seen this before the season, like things going this way because of who they had in their locker right. room, the people that they signed over. The oh league. god, the length of contracts, like it was a lot of stuff. no fucks given. LeBron and a young coach. I mean, your your two leading guys is LeBron and Rondo. <laughs> And then you got Lance Stevenson. You have you Michael knew Beasley. bringing Lance in with LeBron. Come on now. You got Javale McGee. Like it's a, and then you got the young like you got Lonzo. And they were all immature and, as hell. Yeah, like, like it's a wild. each other online. And shit. That's a wild combination of, of personalities and people that it's wild west in there. <laughs> I just keep looking over kid. He just shaking his head. <laughs> like a disappointed dad and shit. <laughs> we gotta get this. I gotta take a picture of this. This man is nah, is hurt. He hurt, but yeah, uh, that's my whooping. Anybody no. else who's changing their uh, finals prediction? Uh, I will. I have. You know, fucking. I'm gonna say it confidently. Bucks and six. Oh, against against the Golden State. Against Golden State. Mm. Okay. Welcome. They got to do it in six. I'm just like I. I think I've said it before, but like I'm getting real strong. First year Golden State won the title vibes from this team. Like where I they were too. like. Over well, one they replaced a trash coach with somebody competent mm-hmm. that installed like a system that makes sense for the personnel that they have. Mm-hmm. Their statistical profile is like that of an elite team, like of all time, not just like for this era, mm-hmm. like top fifteen of all time, <clears throat> like net rating and point differential. This Milwaukee Bucks team right now, people, top five offense and defense, mm-hmm. best player in the league, possibly. Probably, yeah. MVP top two candidate. Like, yep. Yeah. They have everything there except for they don't have a traditional second star, but they have mm-hmm. six, five other like sub star, good players. Yeah. And when you think yeah. about and that, even Warriors more depth team, behind that that of like legit NBA players at least. Clay Thompson wasn't necessarily Clay Thompson yet. Like he was good mm-hmm. too, but you know it was Clay Thompson. It wasn't Harrison Barnes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Andrew Bogut, Draymond, Iggy. before he was really Draymond. Like, Yeah. So, it, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. we, we know the names now, but we have to think of it in context, too, of 2015. That was the same team that went undefeated in the Summer League. I'm, I'm, so, <laughs> so, listen. Listen. This is how I got there. What? <laughs> I remember a couple of seasons ago before this this Golden State team blew up, the season before that they were undefeated in the summer league team. It was Draymond Green, Harrison Barnes and all of them. Like they ran through that summer that summer league. That's the same squad that ended up winning with the uh, the, the championship team. So I was like, Oh, so that summer league squad kinda carried that over into the actual NBA season. It wasn't that same season, it was like the following season. So I, I always correlate those two runs. So they carried it over a season? Because yeah. most of those players was in the summer league when they, uh, like a season or two beforehand before they won that title so together. Had, so, so they was already gelling at that time. So the summer league had to bake. Yeah. And then, the, you know, they kind of flourished when they all did the same shit in the league. Okay. You fact checking? Uh, Kim, I can't even find it. Right. That's <laughs> such an obscure. Yeah. That's, I always relate those two. I don't know. It's weird. I know. That's why we need to stack. Mayor, yeah, we gonna, we might actually need you to become our um, statistician. Yeah, <laughs> the mayor, you already have a, a following. You already get greeted this way, so you, you might as well just lean into it. Every time we look over, the mayor. mayor. <laughs> <laughs> but going back to my point, like that year, everybody was like, "Well, San Antonio still has the same squad that just won the title." Like LeBron has Kyrie and Kevin Love, and they're you know running off like people just like kept coming up with reasons why Golden State wouldn't win. The jump shooting team has never won a title. They they're unproven. Are we sure Steve Kerr is a good coach? Like all these things and then they just ran through well they ain't run through the playoffs, but like they They were they 
showed force. Yeah. What well, what series was that? Was that the um when they played New Orleans when Chris Paul was on the Hornets? What, what's, they had no. a series with somebody. Oh, it was the Clippers. It was the Clippers series. I was gonna say he was. That definitely. was the Donald Sterling year. Was that? Yeah. That was a good series. Okay. I'm sorry. What point guard? Ken, your final prediction. Are you sticking with uh, uh, Golden <clears throat> State and Boston? Um. Yeah, I'm still gonna say Golden State and Boston. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna really? go Golden State. You think State Boston more. gonna pull huh? them together? Boston. Really? Yeah. yeah. Then you think they're just going to be like playoffs time to go? Yep. Oh. Kyrie, Mamba, number two. Man, I think they'll, they're they more likely to get knocked out first round than make it to the finals. All I got to say is Boston better not get matched up with Indiana in the well, first no, round. I mean, nobody fucking with the Bucks right now, low key. I'll <laughs> <laughs> be really thinking about it. It's like. The only only team that gives me pause in the East Toronto. is Toronto. Yeah. That's, That's the only they one. Defense. Like they're literally they right behind us. That's the only one. I get it. I don't know. All right, y'all, I'm going to go. I got to go Milwaukee. Welcome. Go and stay in Milwaukee. Welcome. Welcome. Tim, where where are you That's at? The same thing. Oh, you're going on the same all around the board. Welcome. Clean. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Clean sweep. It's nice to have you here. It's been lonely. It's but been see, lonely. this gives me anxiety. Like, I feel like it's too, too good. Jinxing. Right. Like, we like that's that's part of the reason why I've been like so adverse to it this whole year. I was like, I, I don't think want to you'll be it. all right. And given that it's just us that feel that feels that way, like it's I think if you go outside of Milwaukee, it might be like I, I think know. people are kind of like, come like the smart NBA Twitter people, like they're starting to come around. Yeah, and it's it's gonna be a crapshoot. It's gonna be depend on matchups. But honestly, I repeat, Boston does not want Indiana in the first round. Mm-hmm. That's what you don't want. All right, that was fun. Boston is what happens when you treat players like assets. And just like widgets that you can just put into an equation and output, you know, like the outcome that you want. Like mm-hmm. just stack really good you players. Just, you you put together like you treat these people like you treat Isaiah Thomas like okay, well, you know, you played through injury, ruined your career, your sister died, we'll trade you. Like all these people that they're they all this talent that they've been amassing just to trade in an Anthony Davis trade, like. Yeah, we're developing you, but we'll see you here long term because we'll drop you for the next best thing. Mm-hmm. And being like it. nakedly, <clears throat> like obvious about it, like it's not like I'm sure any other team would have traded for Kyrie Irving in that situation. But like the way that Boston treats their players, like mm-hmm. this was only chickens coming home to roost. Mm-hmm. As far as I'm concerned, preach, preach, brother. Okay, the NFL Combine is going on right now. So we got to talk about a couple a couple stats that that popped off. The then we only right here. <laughs> yep, mm-hmm. that was a good conversation. I didn't want to stop it. DK Metcalf, he's six three, two twenty eight, twenty seven reps on the bench press, forty point five inch vertical, a four point three three forty time, one point six percent. If y'all ever seen a picture of this dude, he looked like he just eats HGH. <laughs> like, eats people. <laughs> he was made in the lab, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't know where they're making these kids. I don't, I don't know, know if he's any good. Like, right. where they making these kids? Bro. I don't know if he's any good. Like, I've never seen any of his tape. I just know, like, looking at him and looking at these numbers, like, beast. beast. Like, yeah. for real. Yeah. I've seen like, the tape. Beast. Like, literally the beast the from X-Men. Like, yes, we look like. <laughs> Right. Motherfucker caught the ball uh, behind some dude's head Farm smashed that motherfucker in the face and c- took the fuck off. I'm like, I would hate to be the one to guard him. Guess who got the fastest 40 time in the combine? The fucking cornerback for Ole Miss who had to guard the motherfucking practice. <laughs> sure as hell as shit, you better run a 429. <laughs> you can't keep up with that big motherfucker. 429. Yes. Sub 43. Yes. And then you got a defensive lineman, Montez Sweat. He ran a 4. Four two. That's, That's scary. Two hundred and sixty miles. Stupid. That's uh-huh. scary. That's, That's scary. Stupid. Dog. That is scary. The motherfuckers be like wow. six four, six five, two sixty. You, you see, all fat, wait. chasing your ass. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> chasing your shit, dude. That's scary, dude. Wait, going back to DK. One point six percent body fat. Like, how are you even still alive? Like, you got to have some type of body fat to like yeah. fight off infection. You would think. Like, I think you know, like the bodybuilders and shit hop on there. They're like, "There's no way that you can do that." I'm like, okay. Why are you doing that? <laughs> it was the Arnold. Get to the <laughs> he said, there's no way. No way. But yeah, anyway, Arnold, these, number, these numbers, like, that explains CTE. Because you got people 
260 that, pounds running four four forties. No, smashing into smacking each other. Smacking your shit. Bull God shit. dang it! Why are you yelling? <laughs> Let me. He's, he's excited. He's, he's excited. excited right now. He's getting Dude, excited. Dude, forty times get him off. <laughs> exactly. Let me ask y'all. What do y'all think y'all times would be? Right now, Actually, I'm like a five two. <laughs> so the slowest time that I could find in combine history, at least the last couple decades. Tom Brady. No, it was six seconds. It was a <laughs> defensive lineman. I can definitely go faster with that. I don't know if I can. I'm I not go gonna hold you up. I can go faster than six. So you you can go faster than six. I'm going strong like five two five four. Never strong, <laughs> strong B. Never. Strong. Tim, out here. Wait, what set did up, Tim think about? Set it? up the forty time, Tim. We out here. Tim gonna say something outlandish. I'll, I'll probably. Get, mm-hmm. I just need to get under. I can see Tim doing like a four eight. They said this thing called like the Packers experience, like at the like an eight. Uh, can I get can I get an eight seconds? Ooh, eight. <laughs> that's my that's She's my just bar. Jogging the forty. <laughs> right. A I'm, brisk walk. You can walk uh, faster than that. <laughs> I am built for distance, not for short bursts of energy. Okay. That's funny. For sure. <laughs> that sounded kind of dirty, but okay. oh hello. It did. Why not say afterwards? I just let it float to see if y'all would <laughs> skip over it. Like I had to think about what she said, but like, what y'all didn't. <laughs> As of today, Telling right? Tea. Yeah, what's your 40 <laughs> as, as of today, right now. Right? Yeah. yeah. No, next no, week. I, like, the future. Uh, my 40 time would be trash today. It'd probably be like a 4-7. See, I was, that's what I said. 4-7, four, 4-8. Four, that's me being out of shape. Like, when yeah. last time I had my 40 time checked, I was a 4-5-8 at 18. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's a minute ago. No, like, wait, oh, wait. Yeah. You know, here's the thing. You had it like no, last year. So, so. Here, here's the thing. I've gotten faster the older I've gotten. No. So well, at like. Why were they timing your 40? Who was timing 40? That's when I was trying out for MSOE baseball, oh, baseball team. Oh, shit. I'm calling so, shenanigans. Crackhead no, speed. Because <laughs> we had a 60 yard dash, but they, Tim, they did a 40 and a 60. Than you used to be. No, I got older and I had got faster. But I'm <laughs> not faster than I used to be at 24, 25, but I'm yeah. faster than I was at 18 still. Right so now, you're saying you can you run a sub? Than, what would you say? You said four, four five. five. You can do a four five right and now. And you just say you four seven now. You yeah. know what? Let me get back in shape. I still run <laughs> what four five. We talking about right now? Here you right. go. Wait, wait. Like, Future. Let me get in shape. I run time, a four five. How much? How much time do you need? Because I, I actually I have a place Stop where we can do up, this. Mm, give me April. What's, what's so month? Month? next month? So next month? Let's do this uh, the second week of April, the second recording in April. Whatever our show is in April, I can do it. Y'all looking around for calendars like we are. I was. I was looking at phones. around at him, looking around. I, know I was, was looking for a calendar. I thought, the, I thought we had a guest. <laughs> <laughs> right, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, second Tuesday in April is April 9th. No, no, I, no I, got an idea, I got an idea. Would y'all want to run 40s? I'll do it, yeah. Sure. Do we all say a time? Dude, said, you want to run a 42? <laughs> <laughs> I said eight like, seconds. Geez. You said four five. Yeah, I said five two. You said five two. Yeah, I said a good five four. Which I'm really. I'm I think you said five seven. Five, that's no, he said five two five four. Yeah, five two five four. Okay, and you you get two runs. So yeah. Okay. Let me get warmed up. I'll, yeah, the first one is a warm up. The joints. second one is like, all right, let's do get this. the joints going. <laughs> that's when we need the I mayor. We need the mayor, <laughs> need the mayor to write down these times. Oh yeah, we out here. Cause I got an idea. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk off there. We'll trash ass for these. Oh, we, we all have, we all have wait, a month. Wait, let me, do let it the week the, of the draft. Let me be the Tim. Like, <laughs> like before I had the baby. Well, I ain't had a baby, but before I had the baby, like I was in the gym. Like I was feeling good. Like I ain't been in the gym in like a month, and like, yeah, it's it's gonna be worse. So, <laughs> and I I can't. Foresee Let's do it the week of the, the NFL draft. Time. When is that? I think it's in April sometime. It's, it's like it's we'll, gonna be at the we'll end of fa- April. We yeah, we'll figure it out. Do this later. We'll get the logistics. We're going to do this, though. Bryce Harper, he signed with the Phillies. $330 million over 13 years. Now the richest contract in American sports history. I'm going to say this every time. John Wall still get more money per year than that. Yep. Depends on how Where, you Where's Wall sitting at? At the crib. 47, I think? Yeah. You <laughs> got At the crib. You said 47? <laughs> Chilling. I think at least it gets up to 47. Yeah, I think last year was like 40-something. Oh, Jesus Christ. Even, like, so... so Orlando for the Rockies, he got an extension, and his was like thirty five million annually for five years. And it's like okay, so that sounds inaccurate. No, it was like it's a five year extension. It's, it's on here. I'm just looking for it. We think what Tim is saying is wrong. Anyways, yes. do you like this move for the Phillies? 
Yeah, yeah, it's good for them. I mean, they got a face of the franchise yeah, for the next to do million years. Did he really say the wrong city in this press conference? I mean, yeah, it happens. It does. He forget where he is sometimes. <clears throat> he said he can't wait to bring a championship to DC during his. Uh, mm-hmm. He's been saying that for like the last eight years. Like, hard <laughs> to break program, that. It's right. programed. It's programmed. Uh, there like was like, excuse me. It's, it's like when you break up with somebody <laughs> and then you accidentally call me your ex name. Uh, mm. Oh, Jesus Christ. The devil is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> James Gatto, <laughs> Christian Dawkins, and Mary Cole, who were found guilty of felony wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud in October for their part in a broad college basketball pay-for-play plot. <laughs> Tim wrote this, didn't he? He definitely wrote this. I just copy-pasted it. Um, they anyways. were sentenced to prison time. So those are executives for Adidas. Right, so uh, Gatto previously worked for uh, Adidas, and Cole was a consultant for the company, while Dawkins worked for NBA agent Andy Miller. Um, The three were found guilty of paying the families of college basketball prospects if the players attended schools that had apparel deals with Adidas and then signed sponsorship deals with the company upon turning pro. So uh, Gatto got the most. He got nine months. And then the other two, Dawkins and Cole, they both got six months apiece. And that was for the, the wire transfer. So it's like... It's a it's a warning shot, is what the judge said, to kind of let cats know, like we will start locking y'all motherfuckers up for this shit, because they they posed it as they bamboozled the school, a lot of scholarships, like they get, they got players to sign at schools that Swindled. they didn't deserve, quote unquote. You only getting paid to go here, so now you're getting paid and you got a scholarship when you didn't want to be here in the first place. So they was like, you you duped the schools and you duped, duped the players, well, right. duped the duped. schools. My ass, like the schools make money off these dudes. Like it's not yeah. like, and yeah. I'm pretty sure the schools are involved in all of this shit. Yeah, like I'm sure know. they are. Fuck and then out of here with that. He also brought up Rick Pitino though, and he was just like, I'm I'm only it's, it's kind of like I'm slapping y'all on the wrist. I'm being lenient with y'all because y'all was only trying to cover his ass. Mm-hmm. And y'all did everything in y'all power to cover his ass to give him plausible deniability. Mm-hmm. They're like, so I'm going to slap you on the wrist, but y'all been warned. And now I'm throwing everybody else under the fucking bus. Like, I'm like, okay. This you know what would alleviate all this shit? Pay, Pay the players. <laughs> yeah. no, you got that. Like, motherfuckers like, getting federal time. Just, just I mean, and these are resources that could be put towards, like, actual crimes. Yeah. Like, now you got people, com- oh, you know, conspiring, like, and you have the feds, like, trying to track people down for mm-hmm. these crimes. Track down in suits and shit. Right. Like, <laughs> like go get some drug traffickers. Like, go get some Real sex fun. traffickers. Like, oh, Billy getting ran down on Wall Street. <laughs> what the All fuck right. are you talking about Where right did he now? go? Guy, <laughs> Jesus Christ. He got a whole movie playing in his exactly. head right now. I knew he go, too. <laughs> Duh. What is the you go? Who's man's bro? <laughs> hey, man. I gotta uh, <laughs> play this real quick before we move on to the next subject because this is no, this is real quick. Oh, God. okay. Daddy. This is a uh, pa- or not Patriots Pelicans coach <laughs> Alvin Gentry. Alvin Gentry talking to the media, and I cannot wait for y'all to hear this. Obviously, they were hurting us on the the pick and roll with, uh, well, with both guys, with Favors uh, and Gobert rolling to the basket. But, uh, excuse me, I've been in the, I I had a couple of beers. (laughs) Sorry. You earned it. Oh, you drunk as a bitch. Y'all drunk as hell. He Tim on this show. That's why I had to play it. That's who you are this week. Too lit. (laughs) Too said I had a couple of (laughs) beers. Dude, Excuse me. Shots. Beer's doing all of that? Oh, boy, this is shots. <laughs> he was a shotgun, them beers. Oh, boy. Shit, he was going to go off like Steve Stone Cold. Like, like, <laughs> he was going to go What? More tequila. What? <laughs> More beers. What? Vodka. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm out. <laughs> oh, I want to. I want the vamp. Okay. And speaking of, though, <laughs> Becky Lynch and Ronda oh. Rousey. What? <laughs> I hate y'all. I love y'all too, though. Okay, Anyways. had some Twitter beef. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. They were on Twitter throwing barbs back and forth between one another. Eric, are you pulling the, the tweets up for I'm us? I'm try. Okay. So, if you didn't know, they're building towards their WrestleMania mm-hmm. match. And what WWE is doing with Becky Lynch right now is making her the female stone coat, Steve Austin. It's the same what? situation. <laughs> and she is absolutely killing this. Yeah. She is must see TV at this point. 
Yeah, that whole storyline is just yeah. So her it's and convoluted. Like I haven't actually been watching, but I've been following along. Oh, I watched. It's it. like they keep, they can't decide if they want it to be like an injury angle or a suspension angle. Yep, they, they they're bouncing, but just go with the spirit. Now they're they're setting her up on Sunday. Is Ronda came back last night? She played Charlotte, right? Or a fight? Yeah. So Charlotte. now Becky is going against Charlotte uh, Sunday. Woo. For the uh, well, it was supposed <laughs> to be for the vacated title, but now since Ronda came back at the last minute and took her title back like a mean ass baby. Why you? Why you assassin? Because she neck rolling there. Like, no, she 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 called herself getting all mad and shit and breaking the fourth wall. So I was like, this shit fake type shit and da 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 da. And Dude, then she started she fighting Becky last night and shit. She was like, this shit fake type shit. <laughs> 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 I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, she she been on bullshit, dog. Right? Tim is chest chest body. Okay, <laughs> these tweets did, did you did you did you find them? Yeah. Uh, so Becky tweeted out, Rhonda, you go back and get that belt because I didn't come this far to collect it from Stephanie. I came all this way to take it from you, mm. Rhonda. That's what I'm trying to do, dumbass. You <laughs> hobbling around here trying to be a ginger crutch ninja. <laughs> and taking the fake prison photos in the hallway isn't helping. Fourth wall. Becky, keep that F word out of your mouth and concentrate on getting better at this business instead of trying to remain above it. Looking forward to seeing you soon. F word. You mean fake? Fake like your nonsensical BS arm bar that doesn't even work and just looks like you're holding a dick that you wish you had. Damn. So <laughs> she also posted a picture of Becky Lynch doing the arm bar. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then Becky. And you're a dick. <laughs> no, <laughs> but then Becky uh, responded with a picture of like the same picture, except she put Rhonda's husband's, husband's face, face on Rhonda's arm, oh, and she's like, "Huh, it does look exactly like one." Now that you mention it, which was like, "That's oh. that's wow, that's, oh. that's grounds to get hands oh. thrown." Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what you all know, huh? Do y'all care if this is fake or not, or Wait, no. are you Last just one. enjoying? Oh, it's one more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then Ronda's response was Rebecca Quinn. I don't care what the script says. I'm beating the living yeah. shit out of you the next time I see you. Hey, she was fucking her up yesterday. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, oh, maybe she was that ass because she was fucking her up. Like she hit her one time in the stomach. I was like, oh, goddamn. <laughs> it was like, pow. I was like, god damn. Pow, she was fucking right her up. <laughs> <laughs> she was fucking her up, dog. I was like, damn, Rebecca. Is it pow? Don't get your ass beat, dog. This ain't Batman, bro. Shut the fuck up. Pow. Boom. Zap. <laughs> she was making all the sound effects, dog. Boink. <laughs> Even that one. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, "Damn, oh, dog." Anyways, it's been entertaining. <laughs> it's probably gonna be the highlight of WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Yes. Johnny Manziel, he was released from his CFL team, the <laughs> Montreal Alouettes. Alouette. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He violated his uh, contract, <laughs> and now he's also been banned from the CFL. He cannot sign with any team from the league bro. because he he's still not, doing drugs and shit. No, that's what I'm now, saying. Like, we don't know that. Me. Don't make false allegations. Allegedly. He tripping We me. just know he broke his contract, and his contract had a lot of rules. He could have been like, I'm tired of going to therapy every week. I don't need to go here no more. You, you know, you're right. I take that back. I'm sorry. No defamation of character on this end. You are a great young man. Wait, that can't, when? They can't stay. They can't stay in a league because you keep violating team policies and shit. What? Jesus Christ. Is that better? No. The AF- <laughs> <laughs> AAF, the Alliance League. Oh. Uh, yeah, so last week I said uh, American something. Yeah, I, said, had it I wrong. said it wrong. Like, it was a motherfucker. It's the American, American Alliance. Uh, Alliance of American Football. Yeah, Alliance of That's why it sounded wild. like. It sounded the clannish. Cause, Alliance uh, of American Football. Yeah. Did sound kind that of That was clannish. the joke. Yeah, that's the joke. That's the joke. Anyways, uh-huh. the Alliance League, <laughs> they, they offered Mandel to come work out, but they were doing some investigating about what, what it was did. that he did. <clears throat> was you gambling? It wasn't gambling? I I got you, bro. You over there messing with that dope? I'm, <laughs> I'm, Everybody do coke over here. I'm scared to do this because this next point, I put it here for you, Tim. So oh, this shit. is, I'm passing you the ball. Uh oh. <laughs> turn over. Don't hide. I need you. <laughs> hey, I can turn into Gary in this bitch. You can just read it on the paper. Yeah, right, it's you're... about what happened with Real Madrid today. Real. Where is it? Okay, Real. Real Madrid, three time defending champion, eliminated from Champions League by Ajax. Ooh. Um, 
I thought he was going to read the note to himself out loud. He was. He was so, about to. He was. <laughs> he was about to. Hey, see, I stopped. I was thinking. You did. And shit. I'm proud of you. So, uh, <laughs> um, I'm assuming this is, you know, I ain't going to lie to you. I, I couldn't even tell you why. I get the tra- not in the Champions League here. no more. Like, I get it. Real Madrid is usually in the Champions League. They're usually in the finals. They're usually in, like, this, like top four teams and shit like that. So that's probably why it's groundbreaking because they didn't even get that damn far yet. But Ajax has always been a good team. They're another... Uh, so they're a powerhouse. Team. Yeah, they're another powerhouse squad. Like, that's what the Champions League is. It's a bunch of powerful fucking teams but going against each other. Didn't Real, like... Haven't they lost most of their good players? They never lose good players. They You always lose good players, but they're never bad. Because they always have all the good players. Wait, Real, that's... That's Ronaldo, right? Yeah, that used to okay. be Ronaldo. So they still have Karim Benzema and... So you just had a whole burger? Yeah. Yeah, it was sitting there. I was looking. I thought he brought like five of them, but it wasn't. It was just one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know I couldn't bring my lunch leftovers. <laughs> sorry. But yeah. Um, Excuse me. No, it's a, it's a big deal for that club. Congrats to AX for eliminating Real Madrid. Because they always, like, no matter what, they're always still, like, one of the best teams in the world. So it's a, it's a big deal for them. Okay. So the Nets are being sued by Coogee for the Biggie uniforms. Mm. Baby, baby. I better be glad that they are advertising your brand. So the the Nets refer to that colorway, you know, the the black, you know, jerseys that they made for their city jerseys, Coogee. yeah, as their quote unquote Brooklyn camo. No, oh, there you go. And Kuji said, Christopher Wallace, Biggie, who all this is based around, <clears throat> he never wrote or rapped about Brooklyn camo. Like you know what you're doing, okay. And they claim that uh, the jersey copies its designs, which, I mean, it does. That's the point. That's the point. Yeah. So just so oh, they uh, it seemed like they will still get approval before they just like oh you we would do think some you like you see like y'all they, say hit them up like hey we got this least, idea right. or they at least ran it by their lawyer like mm-hmm. yeah like, so yo, so we, like the Nets organization ran it by the Nets lawyers lawyer. like can we get sued for this yeah and will they win mm-hmm. so more likely they not yeah. Gonna win. yeah I wonder how many lawyers they got. A and team. they have the NBA lawyers, and they yeah. have Nike's lawyers, and New or- New Era's lawyers. Like, so they got like, too the, much money. How to get away with yeah. murder type shit with like fifteen lawyers. Like, there are way too many hands in the pot on this for like them to get taken down by Coochie. Amazing. <laughs> 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 that's yeah. a, that's wild to say about the NBA team. Yeah. Central Methodist University in Fayette, Missouri. They signed safety Tony Harris to a scholarship. So Harris, she's twenty two years old. I've seen her plays. She's the first female scholarship position player in college football history. Uh, CMU is an NAIA school. That was a I'm Ron Burgundy Mm-mm-mm. moment. Sorry. <clears throat> How do you guys feel about a woman playing in an all-male sport like this? Because I saw I did what I shouldn't have done. I clicked on the comments. Oh, God. You <laughs> went down the wrong rabbit hole, didn't you? I think it's like anybody talking shit in them comments, like she would fuck them up. You probably yes. Be closer. Yes, that's the problem. Like, if you've seen her play, she could hit. That motherfucker be lighting people up. I mean, she's been good enough to make the teams. She's been good enough to change the minds of people who thought that only guys can play football. Yeah, real football. Not and like... offer, get offered a scholarship in college. Like, high school, sure. College, that doesn't happen. Yeah. So, if she's that good, what the fuck is the problem? Egos. Dumbasses. Ignorant folk. Well, preach. Just like the end of a Tyler Perry movie. My bad. No, it's just it's just <laughs> dumb as shit that people always got something negative to say about when people are doing things and breaking barriers and shit like that. Like, she doing her thing, bro. Like, she get, she made her scholarship. She bust her ass just like every other dude on that team. She had to hit the weight room just like every other dude on that team. She had to get up for them two-a-days and shit like that. She had to change her diet and all of that bullshit. Like, she did everything that every other dude on that team had to do, and she got her ass a scholarship. Like, fuck out of here. Watch her play. I'm up at it. Well, all right. Thank you. you. Said all that needs to be said. Yeah, that was on on the money. You, you did good. You closed that out. And that's all, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be beginning you even here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just went on the whole thing. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> a complaint was filed against former Green Bay Packers head coach Mike McCarthy. 
Yeah. For yelling this at officials during his stepson's high school basketball <laughs> game. <laughs> what the fuck, Mike? This is clearly only news of because who it was. He didn't got fired on all that. <laughs> his wife yelled, Mike! <laughs> no, no, Mike! <laughs> Come back here, Mike! Really? No, no Mike. <laughs> Mike, sit your ass down somewhere. He takes one step forward, two steps back. So many steps back. I can see back. him walking away her Like, every time Mike. we give him props for something, he always thought, it. like, we shouldn't have told him he had a good show we last should, week. I we should from have said, I mean, show, we literally right just gave worse. him a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> and he fucked it up. Fucked him. Anywho. <laughs> wow. Mike, you need to go sit down, bro. Just stay out the line. Like, keep, keep it low. You know? What do y'all think is proper etiquette? For watching amateur sports like that, like high school games, because we've all been in that environment. A mm-hmm. lot of people, parents, and adults get really rowdy. If you just sit there, cheer on yo, you know your your kid or yeah. you know kids that you know, and just stay in your lane, just and enjoy if, it. And if my kid is getting hurt, I'm about to hurt somebody. What? No, yeah. you no? knew when your kid signed up. Mm-hmm. You knew you signed the waiver. Nah, I you didn't. had to sign under there as the parent and legal guardian and say, okay, he could get fucked up if he need to. <laughs> you agree to that and So you know you can't get to, mad I'm gonna be mad You better hold me back in the stands Then don't agree to it Just hope I'll make it to the car Your kid they can't, can't play no sports He will She will mm-hmm. Do whatever they want You can't get mad Don't be that mom in the stands Over there telling what the coach To pull their kid Or put oh, their kid I'm in I'm not that person I, I'm just talking about In an extreme <laughs> circumstance don't Like I've seen kids When they get clotheslined And like a fight break out That's what I'm talking about nah. Yeah but like as far as like referees, like these are just regular ass people. Yeah. They don't get paid for, or if they do, like, they get it's paid minimal. very little. Yeah, like, it's not worth taking your abuse. No. Yeah. So, just remember but, the right. level. Like it's also yeah context. Like I understand if you got like a million dollars riding on like the Super Bowl or something, but <laughs> it's just like <laughs> and Division even then, Three I'm Wisconsin like, basketball. Like, <laughs> chill <out>. <laughs> <laughs> like chill out, bro. Who cares? Chill out. <clears throat> also, shout out to uh, Coach Dub. Shout out. Yeah, Shout out, brother. congratulations, brother. They're moving on to the next round. Was it the first regional championship for the school? And yep, I forget but how long. That's what's Ever. Up. It takes everything in me to give props to Bayview High School, but I will. <laughs> 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 so the Lakers and Carmelo, hmm. they pause talks Great. on a possible contract. You know, unless the playoffs or unless the team's <clears throat> playoff chances improve. <laughs> <laughs> so those are paused forever. Yeah. That's amazing. Carmelo said, I'm good, love. Enjoy. <laughs> Carmelo. Carmelo. Who hasn't been on a team since December? To yeah, to y'all. He hasn't played basketball since, what, November? Like, he's just trying to play. Magic came like, with a contract. Nah, Melo. Uh-uh. <laughs> Man, fuck Melo. You keep Where that shit. <laughs> That's crazy. I seen y'all on television. Oh, <laughs> That's crazy. Nobody want his ass anyway. Melo said, "Y'all no. did. You did. <laughs> On this him. show, Fuck we got. Oh, I wish we had someone to pull like the tape because it'd life. be a clip that would go you right know, here. Dude ain't gonna do it because he on this side. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck him. I used to say I ain't like. Uh, yeah, he was always uh, saying Fuck Melo though. Yeah, <laughs> you was the one to. I Come said, "Might as well, him. you know, might as well bring him. Fuck Everything him. good. Fuck him." Someone's going to put together, like, clips of you throughout the Lakers season <laughs> for not. all your different takes. Do not. Oh, my goodness. That would be gold. Do not do that. Gold. I just want to go back to his rant when, like, LeBron signed. Like, he was so happy. Oh, we got the video. Oh. Didn't we go to church? We yeah. probably did go to church. We probably did. <laughs> it felt like a church-worthy moment there. I mean, you know. Uh, do y'all think Melo's going to play an NBA game this season? No, no, it ain't looking good. That was that his one, one shot. <clears throat> and he, gonna, he said no. Right, like he he ain't got no more friends left. That's yeah. like he already tried Chris Paul. Mm-hmm. Yep. I guess he got Miami maybe. They ain't doing wait. nothing though. I know they ain't making the playoffs either. So, so <clears throat> it might be sad for the season. And is that is that it? Is that all she wrote? No, I think he plays again. I still think he'll play again. Maybe not this season, but in Milwaukee. No. no. Don't don't put that on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> he don't fit the system. But, but, but yeah. Shooting back and forth. Let me get Free DJ. Play. It's on his lap. Pause. Okay. Ooh, baby, I love To the radio baby. we go, Tim. Tim, oh, look, Tim yeah, it's your turn right. again? You know you love radio. <clears throat> what do you mean again? He tried before. Remember, Remember it tried, was a complete nutter failure. And he like it was terrible. What to say, what to do, and oh, it just yeah. yeah, it was bad. Then Tim had to save it. Good and Tim. 
<laughs> yeah, apparently I blacked it out so bad. It was really <laughs> funny. Um, <clears throat> this week we're going to go listen to some Bobby Fino. Do you know who that is? I Bobby do. Bobby Fino. Can you guess? He's an NFL player. Former. Former NFL player. Bobby Fino. We he, was, he was a running back. Running back. Very good one, too. Bobby Fino. Who would that mm. be? LaDainian? <laughs> no. That's actually a good guess, <laughs> but no, it's Arian Foster. Oh, oh, for real? Oh, God. So, <clears throat> listen to a song from his, his album, and the he song is called... He look like he... He, he look like he's like like uplifting, Cole. brother. Yeah, he's trying to be a J. J. Cole rapper, dude. So, the song is called... Let the way be your light. I still love her. Oh, oh. God, he's crying. <laughs> oh, this shit. is what you picked. Wait, is he a singer? He's gonna be Reagan. I couldn't tell you. Find out. We're gonna find oh, out together. Shit. Tim, you... You own. You let me know. What, you He's want. crying, motherfuckers. Usually no, have a, no, no. a long entrance. So. so you want me to play the music and then you go, or do you want to go? It's now? called because I love her. I still love her. I still love her. <laughs> so what do you want me to do? Should Wait, we what play like a comment song? I used to love her. Was a comment song. Okay. I still love her by Arian Foster. Okay, by Bobby Fino. Bobby. Oh fuck, by Bobby <laughs> Fino. Um. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna say. All right. You're listening to I Still Love Her by Bobby Fino. This is WTECK. Yeah. 69.9. 69 is fine. This is my time, I feel like all this is mine I can't just sit in my shrine, can't let them say they divine This feels so right in my mind, right in my mind, that's all I have I used to watch you and always get mad You was my heart, you was my soul Then I saw you start losing control Addicted to drugs, addicted to gloves And love, addicted to blood, that's all it was Said I'm wasting my time, sit here debating, deny You waiting for I, I'm waiting for you I'll be here when you done chasing the views, drinking my booze, uh, toes on the edge of the roof, swallow my pride and it stop by the news. Every time that you around, that's like the longest first verse in history. Time. Jesus Christ, you were so sound. Sound. <laughs> so <I can> <laughs> it was like your straight vibe, baby. You're divine. I like the, like your mind. the beat. Never mind, I could never hold you down. Spread if it ever comes back. <laughs> Good call on the J. Cole uh, Yeah Remember when y'all said that uh, Yes Spot that one on over there. Yeah. Spot on That's exactly Like as he kept rapping I, I started going down vibe. I was like oh yeah. <laughs> Like it started off Really strong And I'm like Okay we might have something But then as he rapped And I was just like That flow was trash Yeah like You really are a fake J. Cole <laughs> I would just rather Listen to J. Cole Yeah Facts which I was, I it was earlier suck, in that shit. It, it wasn't horrible, though, B. No, you know, it wasn't. Just, no, it wasn't you horrible. Know, you know, fake J. Cole. Definitely better than a lot of the shit that's out here. That we've listened to. I yeah. gotta make an inventory hey. of what songs we've listened to. Ain't nobody got shit on Oscar De La Hoya's, though. That shit cold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that shit cold. Yeah. Although, we I, we haven't played that Lonzo song on here, though, but Get Off is... Lonzo got some hits. He gotta introduce that motherfucker. Lonzo got some hits. Let's that's do it next right week. There. Fire. Lonzo? Lonzo. Let him introduce him All next right. week. Oh, I actually saw a Lonzo song too on IG. I got it. Oh. I got the I got the song. Damn, you sleep over there, you good? <laughs> <laughs> Only people that randomly drop their phone to sleep. <laughs> he done fell out the chair and shit. <laughs> Was bopped his head and shit. <laughs> that song put him to sleep. Hell yeah. <laughs> DX, Tori Wilson, and the Honky Tonk Man. Honky Tonk. Are being inducted into the WWE yeah. Hall of Fame. Two words for Hall you. of Fame worthy. I used to love Tori Wilson. You would. Shame that I she's inducted her. before China is. I don't care that well, I mean, China's, China's no. China. China should have already been in on her own merits. Well, I'm gonna hold that flame. Well, that's what happens when you fuck the dude that's in, or you used to fuck the dude that's in charge of winning people in the Hall of Fame. No, that's what happens when people are petty. Uh, it happens. Hey, that's, he gave her this though. <clears throat> she's not even here. Why are you being I, like this? I mean, he still. I mean, wait. So are you wife. mad that he gave that he put her in the Hall of Fame, or are you mad that he, he didn't? I'm put her mad in the Hall of Fame? that he hasn't put China in the Hall of Fame. Maybe China it's his wife. Been. Maybe Whoever it's, it is, my point is, it's petty. Mm. China deserves to be. She deserved to be in the Hall of Fame a long time ago. Uh, 
She was Real also long like time a, ago. She was also not reliable like when in her, the last years of her life. We're talking about the Hall of Fame of WWE right now. Donald Trump's in that. Like they don't. I'm, like, I'm personal saying like life is. But also, he has a good friendship with uh, Vince McMahon. His wife is in his cabinet. Like China was estranged from the WWE for like the last ten years of her life, if not more. It shouldn't hmm. matter. But they have to bring them back for the ceremony. Like you can't put somebody on TV that you don't trust and that you don't have. No, a good my point. My with. point is that my point that I was making to bring it back is that, that China should have been it. inducted yeah. before Tori Wilson. Yes, China has been has pa- passed away years ago. Yeah, they could have inducted her. What was it post posthumously? Posthumously? I don't know how to say it. Posthumously. She could have been inducted. Like I never heard of that word. <laughs> it just means after he died. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> But she should have been inducted already. Like there, she's getting in, quote unquote, now because she's going in through DX. But it's mm-hmm. it's bullshit on her own merit. She should have been in the Hall of Fame before Tori Wilson is. And I feel you. I understand. That's my saying. point that I'm making. Wisconsin Badgers quarterback Alex Hornerbrook, he's transferring. Which is weird. But the, the we team got went the... uh, twenty six and six over his thirty two starts. Yeah, we was, but we and had that like defense. The, I was going to say, he's like the singular reason why they haven't like competed for a national championship. Exactly. And they got two quarterbacks now that would have competed with him for the starting job. He, he probably didn't want that. Yeah, he didn't want it. <laughs> he's like, nah, bro. He's like, oh, you got dude? Nah, I'm nah, good. I'm and right. I think he graduated so he can play automatically. Probably. Yeah, fifth year. Yeah. The Jaguars are expected to sign quarterback Nick Foles once the league year opens on March 13th. Enjoy. They're also expecting to cut Makes Blake Bortles though. in the process. Oh, shit. Makes sense, though, I guess. What do you, why do you say that? You like I mean, the move for... Yeah, they had to do something, because how long are they going to hold on to Bortles? Like, how long? He's been trashed forever now. Yeah, they held on to him long enough. He to just had, he had one decent, what, one decent year? One. He got yeah, paid that's what him. I'm saying. He's been getting paid, so no, it's, they got to do something. Foles, at least he proved that he can win games. And that Bortles going to be a backup for, like, the next 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Sanchez. I think I was thinking more Blaine Gabbert, but I was thinking more uh, Matt Flinnish. Damn. Matt. Mm. Damn. What do I always say? <laughs> pays white, mediocre. white mediocre. Shit, these dudes ain't even mediocre, but man, but Matt Flynn w- was when he put on that green and gold uniform. Oh, he turned into a magician. It was wild. He <laughs> got paid like two times it's for like it. Nick Foles in the playoffs. Exactly. With the Eagles. <laughs> it's fool's gold. <laughs> fool's gold. <laughs> So maybe, who, who's laughing? That was Ken. <laughs> NBA transactions. So the Spurs waived Paul Gasol, and then Paul signed with the Bucks. I did not see that coming. <laughs> I thought he was going to go to L.A. because, of course, they need another big that can shoot and stuff like that. Also, like, Eric didn't want him. I still don't. Why not? But, <clears throat> but have too many bigs. They are down a point guard right now. And they've been playing worse since he went out. Like, I would rather use that four-point guard or at least another wing. But, like, they don't have any minutes for him. Like, he's – they already kicked DJ Wilson out of the rotation when he was playing well. And now, like, they have to cut into the players that are actually playing better. Like – For Paul to play. For Paul to play. Mm-hmm. So, I looked at the tra- – or not the trade, the signing. I was just kind of like, okay, it's another big body for playoffs. I was – I think – I'm thinking playoffs now. So – I'm like, okay, we're trying to get there. It's a lot of bigs, but I'm guessing that this is part load management for the rest of the season so that everybody gets to the playoffs as fresh as they can be. You spread the minutes out over those big bodies. The Bucks have a lot of bigs, like Eric said. They got a lot of wings. They have, like, no guards. And, yeah. that, and to his point, it would have made so much more sense to use that spot for a guard. But I also get why they signed Paul Gasol. If that makes sense? Mm-hmm. Like. Because I'm thinking Paul Gasol could help alleviate that five position minutes from Giannis. And not even minutes, but just locker room presence. He's a championship guy. Apparently, mm-hmm. he's like an all timer teammate. So he's going to be good to have in that locker room as well. Like they're getting vets in there now that can help push mm-hmm. for a title. Like I'm not, I'm not necessarily against it. I just think that they could have used the roster spot in a more productive manner. And that's that's true because, like we said. A lot of big but I also don't know, like, what point guards are out there that could actually help them now. Like, like is there a point Cannon guard trash. as good as Paul Gasol is at his position on the market? And, like, does it tilt it enough to where to where, yeah. right. it's worth it? Mm. Um, good stuff, guys. Golden State is expected to sign Andrew Bogut. Trash. 
Welcome, yeah. welcome back again. He's been over there playing in Australia, so he's still in shape. He was playing well. He's 34, though. I know, but he's only got to be playing well for another, what, two months, three months? That's a long, that could be a long time on a big body. Pause. <laughs> Milwaukee <laughs> signed yeah. Eric Bledsoe to a four-year, $70 million contract extension. Yes, sir. Yes, All here for it. Burr, burr, burr. Burr, love it for both sides. Yeah. For the player, for the team. And the last year is only partially guaranteed. Yep. $3.9 million. I was like, oh, interesting kicker. And Channing Fry has indicated that he's going to retire after this season. Hmm. You had a good run, bro. So long, Channing. Some NFL transactions. <laughs> Baltimore released running back Alex Collins <laughs> following his arrest on gun and... Ju- See, you made me laugh. Okay. On arrest on gun and drug charges. You know what you're doing. Dallas DLs, Randy Gregory, and David Irving are both suspended for violating the substance abuse policy. Yeah, Gregory might be done. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think he, he was already can't. suspended. <clears throat> yep. It's uh, worst ver- like Greg Hardy knockoff and shit. No, Greg Hardy was, he was beating truck. women up. Okay, Greg Hardy was also a troublemaker before that too. Before that came out, he was still an issue before that. He's saying that he's. I'm saying like it's the difference between beating women up and drugs. Like you can yeah. go with Josh Gordon. I was thinking more of Justin Lyman. Blackman. I was thinking of Lyman. That's all. I was quite. I get it, but I'm just saying like. Yeah. Anywho. So. <laughs> Jason Witten, he's leaving the Monday Night Football <laughs> booth to return to the Cowboys. Thank God. He's terrible. He he do ski trash, bro. He thought he was going to Romo at him when he went in there. Mm-mm. Romo shines. Mm-mm. Yeah, Jason had to go back, bro. That, but does That's that do anything for, for the Cowboys? I mean, they gave him some them. reliable hands. Another target. He's still, he still going to get a lot of targets. It's gross. Yeah. He's going to be so slow when he comes back. He was already <laughs> slow. I know. And he was still getting like 800 yards. Small Joe won a U.S. title. Mm. Oh, he beat our truth. Damn. <laughs> At least they didn't do it in Black History Month. They Steve, waited. <laughs> Steve Smith Sr., he said, uh, quote, I'm actually good on TV, so I'm just going to stay here, end quote. <laughs> do what you got to do. He can't man. resist. Rams running back Todd Gurley, he's considering stem cell treatment on his knee if the current rehab doesn't work. I think he has, like, arthritis in it. Is it time to worry about Ooh, his knee? So his knee's kind of going up. Because all throughout the playoffs, remember, he got banged up in the regular season. Yeah. They look like, he's fine, he's fine. But then C.J. Anderson come out of nowhere. So hmm. it's time to worry. He's someone getting stem cell. Yeah. You don't start doing, like, backwoods treatments like those until it gets pretty okay. bad. It's, it's 2019. <laughs> backwoods. It's not backwoods. Stem, <laughs> stem cell backwoods, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah can you an random. X-Man, bro? Chill <laughs> out, dude. Like, sometimes I look up for a douche and he just be disappointed. <laughs> 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 Jesus. <laughs> Professor X found him and shit? Come on, bro. So, yeah, worries? Yes. Yeah. I'm glad he got his back. Me too. Good for you, man. NBA injury. Uh, Sacramento for Marvin Bagley the third. He's out with a knee injury one to two weeks. I'm I'm glad because it looked worse when he got it hurt. It really did. Mm-hmm. And I know some of the Lakers are all bumped up, but Kuzma and um, Ingram. But uh, <laughs> Tim Ken's not even looking up. Nah. He's just like, move on, please. <laughs> Next topic. Hey, Ingram played good against the Bucks, though. He's been balling he this whole year, though. Right. He's he been balling this whole year. Basically since Lonzo went out. Yeah. Y'all really miss Lonzo. On oh, what? I did not. <laughs> oh, I never realized how much you would miss him until he wasn't there. Like, He'd be like, yeah, we do really need this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? That's my first one. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you that's get a record. Air horn. Right, air horn. That's, that's, that's a record. That's the first one. Wow. I'm going to keep it. Low though. bar. One. But, yeah. Y'all, y'all miss Lonzo. Yeah, we definitely do. I don't know, man. We putting it in God's hands. <laughs> we putting it all in God. I think y'all have like a point one percent chance of making the playoffs now. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, it's looking, it's looking rough. I, I got to run the table. I'm going. Yeah, I, I will be at the game, the Bucks and um, Laker and Laker game. So I don't know, man. I just want to at least let me Shit, just see y'all win out. Playing? That's what I'm saying, though. Yeah, if I spend, if I spend all this money on these tickets, bro, and they don't play. <laughs> Y'all gonna see me on the news. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I'm fucking shit up in the uh, Pfizer Forum. New Bradley Center. AKA New Bradley Center. 
<laughs> Tim looking off in the distance like, I'm yeah. not even hearing you, dog. Yeah. Dang. You just going to look away from him, too? Yeah, because, I mean, he ain't going to do shit. Man, yeah, fuck <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Tim. Shout out to the following for some amazing on-court performances. The Chicago Atlanta game was cracking. That's a weird shout out. Those two teams, but that four overtime game went down. And Vince Carter played forty two minutes in that mm-hmm. game. Yeah. And he he's forty one years old. That's crazy, getting it. For I couldn't last Father Time out here. Oh four minutes on NBA court? That's probably just generous. Seconds, 40 yeah, seconds. that's generous. Like you were running down the court twice and be I'm like, whew. <laughs> like you just said you had like a sub eight uh that's right. forty times. Like <laughs> <laughs> Hey, basketball. You run through one screen. I'm going to play that like Zaza. I'm going to just float. Float. <laughs> Anyways. You put your hands up. It was a, it was a <laughs> great game. James Harden scored 58 against Miami. And then D. Wade had a game winner against uh, Golden State. So he got to do Fluky the... Fluky-ass game winner. It was. He got to do his This Is My House. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like... Well, whatever. It's his, it's his, it's his retirement well. tour. Like, yeah. I'll let him have... It's like with Kobe going out with that... 60 shot, 60 point game. Like, beautiful. You know, it's fitting. Even though it's a bastardized version of some that shit was, that you that did. Was great. That was that his was career great. in one that game. That was a great game. That was greatness, though. Like, for real. Just like the game my, was just exciting. Like, just like Wade fans are like, this was perfect. Like, he hit a that game was, winner. Though. Like, that was, was like, the season career in one ended, game, though. But that was wild. The, the stakes are a little bit right different. Oh. For who? I'm just, for I'm just saying, like, on their retirement tours, like. Oh, yeah. It's different from well, when they were doing fun. it. Yeah. yeah, that's why it's so. It's like a nostalgia act in it's live like, time. Right. It's like Dirk hitting the first three threes in the All Star game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I jumped off the couch at home. Like I was <laughs> geeked for Dirk. <laughs> I'm not even a Mavericks fan, but I'm like Dirk. And they said that's what it's like. Like when you you get older, like you can still do it. It's just you can't do it consistently anymore. So like you can turn back. Like some days you wake up and you just feeling good. Like yeah. all right, let's go bust somebody's ass today. Right. But. Then, <laughs> <laughs> but all the rest of the days of the week, you like, God damn, I'm, like, I'm too old for this shit. Like, hey, bro, just chill. Just don't, don't, don't yeah. do that. So, pick and roll all day. <laughs> don't, don't put me in a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> so, UFC two thirty five was this past weekend. Mm. Shout out, shout out to Serial Sensei. Uh, the last article, and I wanted to shout him out also because he predicted the co-main event to a T. Like he 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 called him how the fight would go down, how there would be get booze at the end. Like he caught like the whole thing in the in the article, which was pretty impressive. Nostradamus. So make sure y'all checking that out. When so you basically, what you're saying out. is he knows his stuff. Yeah. So you need to read this. Yeah. And listen to his podcast, Dojo Talk. Shout out. Colorado. Is what you talking about, Tim? Mm-hmm. Signing third baseman Nolan Ariando. Arenado. I was close. To an eight-year, $225 million contract. That's not the numbers that Tim said earlier. It's not. And they said that it was an extension. It is an extension. For $35 million annually. That comes out to 29.3. I know. That's why I'm... I'm, I'm I was telling the people. Letting them know what's going on. It should be a little bell. That's a Tim stat. That's a real Tim stat. I don't know. Exaggeration. Yep. Jeez Louise. Anyway, we can Manchester <sighs> City signed a 10-year <laughs> sponsorship deal with Puma for $864 million. Yeah, damn. This contract is second to rival club Manchester United's $997 million deal. Wait, Jesus who are they you man. with? Yeah, who are they with? Same one. Puma? Oh, so Puma... Puma just and they got. I think they got Chevy too. They got that cash like that. Right off the so bed. Puma just stamped Manchester like this. Is our yeah, city. Yeah, Puma's just out here like. That's what I said. Puma ain't going nowhere so, as long as soccer's around. Yeah, but we some basketball though. <laughs> right. That's a whole different thing. Yeah, but they they got that's like they saying, got some money ain't to, going to anywhere because they got running shoes. Yeah. Like yeah, but they don't got shit to do with their basketball line. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I think they. Own. We ain't talking about company stability. We was talking right. about the line. Well, of the- that was my argument for Puma is that they because they deal so much in the dealings of the soccer, they are good with feet. The dealings <laughs> of the soccer, they're good with the feet. <laughs> so I was like, they might have a you know technological that, advantage in this game I here was following again. You all until you got there that's again. New balance. Was, that sentence got worse as it went on. Yeah, I mean, it's still. Again, new balance. <laughs> like, they just released the Air Times New Romans. Like, <laughs> just because you're good in one area don't mean that you're going to be good in another. Uh-huh. Like, they probably comfortable as shit. <laughs> the most comfortable shoe ever? Can't hoop like, you had to, Like, you would have to give me Ky- uh, Kyrie, Kawhi's <laughs> deal to wear them goddamn shoes. Mm. Like, I need what he's got. 
(laughs) (laughs) Run me that. Last topic point. Former Bears cornerback Charles Tillman. Remember Charles? Mm Mm-hmm. He's now an FBI agent. You know what that fits? Peanut. He always look like damn fits. <laughs> damn. Well, that's dope, though. He probably used some kind of football reference for his FBI shits. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the name it make them? Because they, they used to call me Peanut because he used to pop the ball loose. So he probably has some kind of backstory what? as to why he I'm pretty sure that's got some kind of so FBI pop nickname. Pop the ball loose. Wait, wait, loose what got to do exactly with You know, because he, he's, he's a feds now, so he had to, like... Pop nope. the cases. No, nope. you know, bro. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nah. Take these L's and have a seat, sir. You, you should be full by now. He just kept talking. <laughs> exactly. He kept eating them you, L's. You had a hearty helping of L's today, sir. <laughs> a hearty helping. Woo. <laughs> you be taking L's from Job, though. Right. My question <laughs> I have for y'all was if you weren't doing what you were doing for a living, what would be like your second career? Like he was a football player, now he's an FBI agent. What would your rebirth career be? Weird rebirth. Temp temp and say something outlandish. Exactly. Mm. I've always wanted to be the (laughs) GMA. Oh y'all motherfuckers fist pounding and shit. How the fuck y'all laughing fading away fist pounding? What kind of shit is this? Because that was a good ass joke. That was. I missed it. Hey. Yeah. You're gonna hear it tomorrow and you're going to send us a, there's going to be an angry right. message in that group chat <laughs> anyways <laughs> I just say I always wanted to be a GM of the best of, of the Bucks wait are we doing realistic ones or just like or just pie in the sky world. let's do both I'd be Oprah's house husband if that's gay <laughs> shooting the club up <laughs> she get pregnant every rip <laughs> she's like I don't give a damn. It's <laughs> over. Like I don't think that's possible anymore. I think that ship has sailed. Yeah, it's over. She got over money. She can make it possible. <laughs> She's gonna regenerate some eggs. Yeah, <laughs> just for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm to take horrible. her money, I think not. <laughs> <laughs> I think not. She I think I'd be an is. entertainer. What type of entertainer? Timmy the stripper. entertainer. <laughs> I was close to being a stripper. I really thought about it. I was really close. See? It didn't get there, but I was close. But yeah, I don't know. Some kind of entertainer. <laughs> Tantalizing too. <laughs> That's why he likes tassels. Temptation See? Tuesdays, though. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Chill out, dog. <laughs> Temptation Tuesdays. With, with, with Tassel Tim? A vest of Temptation a cowboy. Temptation Tuesdays with Titty Tassel Tim. <laughs> and tube socks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That you know didn't... old pornos used to be just tube socks and nope. skin? Nope. <laughs> Tube socks and skin. What? Okay. So, what is going on? Is using doom, 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 really quick, <laughs> before we go into the blow the whistle, Jesus. pause. The mayor told me that he's been catching up on old episodes, so he's going to listen to this in like two weeks, probably. Mm-hmm. But the nine nineteen episode, mm-hmm. the, the the world record. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. He said he all saw the video. <laughs> oh what? Here he pulled it up. It's right. <laughs> he was like, "It's like no." I got it He was like, "It's a well-known video. Like it's why wow. I never seen it. I still haven't oh, seen it. heard. I don't even want to see it. I'm just watching for Tim to like. It's just gonna be so, but so, he said, so, so he said, much discussed. He said the video was exactly what was described on the show. Oh, okay, I bet. No, uh, it's just a pump and go. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was a horse smelled horrible. In Ain't there. nobody come. No, he said people were. Oh damn, that's great. I exactly <laughs> too strong. Wait, in her? Oh. I don't know all of that. No, oops. <laughs> that's the cleanest way out. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's the worst time this gross. No, okay. we gotta clean that shit. On that note, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go into the blow the whistle now. Damn, she so, nasty. So much to discuss. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. It's just Eric yep. this week. Um, my blow the whistle is on Kyrie Irving. I could do it for all the fuck shit he's been on this year, <laughs> but specifically this quote that he had Monday night, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. After the game, Kyrie went on a little little quee. It's like. I didn't really come into this game to have cameras in my face and be famous and be a celebrity, whatever anybody, whatever anybody said. It's a little hard for me. I wanted those things when I was younger, but now I just want to play basketball at a very high level. 
First of all, motherfucker, you contradicted yourself within three <laughs> sentences. First, you said I didn't come into this game to have cameras in my face and be a celebrity, and then you said I wanted those things when I was younger. Which one is it? <laughs> Would you wally your five mics? Um, but then also oh, that's a great line. Every time I hear it. Uh yeah. Also, um, he had a major motion picture that he starred in last summer. Mm-hmm. Uncle Drew with none but cameras in his face. I'm just saying, like, you wouldn't make make movies if you didn't want to be a celebrity. He's dated singers and entertainers. You wouldn't do that if you ain't want to be a celebrity. You wouldn't go to the NBA if you didn't want to be a celebrity. Like, that comes with it. Like, it comes with the territory you know of being a professional basketball player and being one of the best basketball players. And you, you, you flexed your celebrity muscle, like, getting out of Cleveland and now, like, all the shit that you're doing... Like undermining the Boston Celtics season because you won't commit to them or at least say that you're leaving. Like you're just submarining that entire thing. So like yeah. everything, everything that Kyrie is complaining about right right now is self made because he ain't have to say they don't owe me shit and I might not be here come January July first or whatever. Like he ain't have to say that. You could just say I said what I said in October and we'll see this summer. Right. And like you, you you're it. making all this shit like. Like, you're the reason, like, why all of this adversity is hitting your team right now. So, don't, don't give me that shit, like, oh, I, I just want to be I just want to be a basketball player. I just want to work in Minecraft. Because it's bullshit. <laughs> and everybody knows it. Yeah, that's a bad rendition of Charles Barkley's I'm not a role model. He ain't a role model. Though. Like, he was no. actually. Not, he, was, he was completely accurate when yeah. he said that. But when he said it, people were all talking about Up it. Up in arms about it. Yeah. <laughs> Up in arms. <laughs> Take top five. Five, four, three, two, one. Take top five. 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 It's been a while since y'all did that. Last week we did uh, wrestling theme songs. Mm-hmm. And when I listened to the episode, I said, that's why I like to be there. Because I didn't think that part-time wrestlers counted. That's why I didn't have Triple H or John Cena. What the big oh, ass foot? Oh, my bad. <laughs> You're kicking the fuck out of my headset. I'm sitting there holding on to the court. My legs are getting <laughs> stiff. Anyways. <laughs> Pause, bro. <laughs> Chill out. Jesus Christ. Anywho. It's time to I wrap it up. I hope it's your leg. <laughs> when you walk on. When I last looked. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> When I last oh. looked at the uh, polls on the Facebook group, it was a three-way tie between myself, Tim, and Aaron. Yeah. You said I took my vote away and, made, and gave it to me. I was yeah. like, oh, you wanted to be a, a jerk today. Yeah, it was just ass. So it was a three. And it was funny because when I saw that I was only one off, my vote originally was for Dooch because mm-hmm. it was a great answer. Yeah. <laughs> but then I saw it was so close, and I was like, no, I'm just make, I need my vote. So there we have a three-way tie. For sure. That might be a first. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, your sister, who normally votes for you every week, her comment made me laugh so hard when she was <laughs> like, my loyalty to Eric J is in conflict with my agreeance of what Dooch said. So, I don't know what to do. I don't think she voted. I think she's abstained from voting this week. <laughs> she I think she voted for Eric still. I don't know, did she? Mm-hmm. I, I think it was like, she agreed with Dooch. She related to Dooch the most, but she has loyalty yeah, to yeah. Eric. Got you. I thought she didn't vote. Did. Of course you can. <laughs> this week we're doing words, contracts, and sports history. Shout out to Walter for the suggestion. Yeah. And the Facebook group was why you should be in there. In be du- in there. In du- du- yeah, yeah. Tim? Number five. Five. Albert Hainsworth. Hmm. Seven years, 100 mil. At the time, I believe he was the highest paid defensive lineman in the NFL. He was mm-hmm. supposed to come over and be the answer. Hmm. Washington cashed out on his ass. And he robbed their ass. <laughs> he didn't do shit. I would hang Couldn't that his... happen to a nicer fella? Yeah. Because <laughs> fuck Dan Gilbert. Not Dan Gilbert. Fuck him too. Fuck, fuck the Dan Redskins. Sniper. Dan Snyder. Yeah. So, yeah. Number four. Josh Hamilton. Five years. 125. With the Los Angeles Angels. Mm-hmm. And he was guard boo-boo when he went over there with them for two years. And they traded him back to the Rangers where he turned around and started getting back off again. <laughs> Number three, I have Matt Castle, six years, sixty three million, twenty eight million guaranteed. We talking about Matt Castle, six years, sixty three million does not go in the same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Dan, oh, Gilbert Arenas, hmm. 
Six year, one hundred and eleven million. He was gone after two years. He only played two games. Yeah, he was hurt. Yeah, he, he was, was hurt, but they traded him. They traded him to Orlando after two, two years. Games. He signed six. I oh, was speaking <laughs> of that air uh Time New Times New Roman. Mm-hmm. Those don't look terrible. Mm mm. I wouldn't wear what them. What is them? It just says Kawhi and Leonard on the back. Does it oh. really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And number one, Jamarcus Russell. Yep. Six years. Mm-hmm. 63 million. Definitely. 32 guaranteed. Garbage. Skip training camp. Single handedly brought in the Ricky sale. Yep. Ricky scale. By himself. By himself. You, he's held out. He skip held out. Training camp. Well, actually, him and Sam Bradford. And got six years, sixty three million as a rookie who ain't threw a damn ball. And then they learned that he couldn't throw a damn ball. <laughs> I mean, he could. It's just the lean. He threw a far as bitch. The, the, he called it throwing rocks and lakes and oceans and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker skipped them hoes. <laughs> throw a football. Mm-mm. Damn. Damn. And there you have it. All right, Eric. Anyway, yeah. So <clears throat> my I'm I'm conceding this week as a as a protest. So like I, I answered it as the worst contracts because the players got underpaid. Mm. Because I don't look at it at, like any anybody that got money from a professional sports organization. Here he go, Ben. Exactly. Oh, Whoa. So, so exactly. Political. God damn it! I don't believe in bad Cap contracts because these he's, they he's make way week. more money. I know. I just said I conceded. He definitely started the whole thing off with I conceded this week. I can still say it. Just, <laughs> pete, right. pete. Anyway, so at five, I got Steph Curry. That deal he signed, like his rookie extension. I think it was four years, forty-four million. Before he was Steph Curry. Yeah, cool, like cool. basically opened up the room for them to make this dynasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, four, I've got Scottie Pippen. I don't have the exact numbers, but he was underpaid criminally, like his, his entire career, time. and they always leveraged the fact that he was underpaid to sign him to another deal that made him more underpaid, like. <laughs> So, fuck them. He got finessed. Yep. Three, um, LeBron James. Like, I just feel like he's underpaid, like, even on a max contract. Like, max contracts in general, like, to me, are problematic because they artificially lower the amount that a, yeah. a player can make. Like, he, he, if they didn't have, like, max contracts, like, his salary would be, like, at least twice, if not three times as large as it is. Like, if you factor in, like, what he brings to an organization. Yeah. With certain players, like there should be a contract where it's like a max plus, where it's like you get the max because I get it, it's for competitive, blah 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 blah. But you should also get a percentage back on all the money that mm-hmm. the organ generate. Like you know what I mean? Like two like like percent max player. Like that should be like an uncapped a two percent kicker or something. No, no, no. Like it should just be an uncapped amount. So like you have one player that you can designate like your franchise player, and you can pay them anything, and it doesn't count towards the tax. Because mm. then that was spread out. Because like, t- like Cause play, every player would try to get that yeah. one spot. What a great idea! And, keeps, and then, and then the salary cap just star. right, and then the salary cap just applies to the rest of the players. How did we get here? I don't, I don't know, know, but Eric got a dope that's, ass that's idea. That's what I'm saying. It was brilliant. And I was trying to go back to how we got to such geniusness. Yeah, LeBron know. James letter paid. That's, yes, that's when this is time. Uh, Who do you give that suggestion to to get paid? <laughs> Write that down. Somebody. <laughs> yeah, write that one down. I just need a blessing. Mm-mm. Two, I've got Michael Jordan. Like, again, he was underpaid his entire career mm-hmm. until the last two years, I think, of the second three-peat. I had the amounts. Oh. 33 million. Yeah. No, no, I'm talking about before that. Oh. Like, his oh. his salary, let's go from the first year they won a title in 91. Mm-hmm. 2.5 million, 3.25, 4 million, 3.8, 3.8, and then he went up to 30. Damn. That Wait, was, he, went he, was only get, he got under yeah. five million. Yes, God. until nineteen ninety seven. Damn! Wow, that was Nike checks. Yeah, so he was eating off Nike all day. Jordan checks. Yep. Wow! Damn! Wow! That's crazy. And then when he came back for the Wizards, he's only got a million a year. That's what afforded that. the damn Bulls to get the, to help him, like help and they st- the damn and team. And they still fucked over Scottie Pippen. Mm-hmm. And they still. Jordan was only making five, less than five million. You still couldn't get Scotty no damn money. Like the highest he got paid before that thirty million year was four million dollars. Wow, crazy, Michael Jordan, literally the greatest. Wow. And, and this is in the context of the nineties, <laughs> so the salary cap was lower, but still, still. Four? Like think about how much. Like this is so again. His highest year was nineteen ninety three, which is his tenth season in the NBA. Yeah. Think about how much money he made for the NBA yeah, and the Bulls exactly. specifically in those 10 years. From like 90 yeah. to 90, 93 for sure. Anyway. Mm. And then number one is like the rookie scale just because it 
it slots in. Like, you can't even negotiate that, really. Like, it's just... <laughs> and, like, thinking about it from the NFL's perspective, like, that's what allows these teams to kind of, lo- like, load up because they play, pay, like, star quarterbacks before they get to their second contract, like, so little. Yeah. In the grand scheme. Yeah. I mean, at least they do spread it around to the other players, but also y'all can just pay everybody. That's crazy. I'm still the most Michael Jordan thing. Yeah. I'm time to try and type in four million dollars and convert it. <laughs> oh, I can do that. You can go to your list. Okay, cool. Current, uh, not current. Because I'm just curious, like how much would four million be today? Yeah. Okay. Stop being creepy. Interesting. I never thought about that. I never knew there was a converter for that. It's called the inflation calculator. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Buy something every day, B. All right. So, number five, I have Josh Hamilton, the Angels deal that Tim discussed before. Number four, I got Bobby Bonilla. How you say Bonilla. 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 And let me preface this by saying I'm not the social activist that Eric is on this show, but all of this, these lists are in the context of team structure. Mm-hmm. We are, as you all know, we are all for the pay- players getting paid. You get your money. So, so the, sorry. the only number I know with uh, Bobby that matters is 2035 because that's when he's getting his last 2035. check. Mm. And he hasn't played the mm. Nets for 2035. Mm. He's getting 1.2 mil a year until then. Mm. Um, I'll, I have a note about that. Actually, I'll do that before I forget. So the USFL, like, they did a $1 million giveaway, mm-hmm. um, like, during halftime. But the deal was you get tw- – you get – a million dollars a year for 20 years over after 20 years or something like that. Like, mm-hmm. basically, you don't get paid, like, the first 20 years of it, and then you, you only get, get, like, annual payments for the next 20 years. So mm-hmm. you won't get your last payment for 40 years, which... It's a gamble. Yeah. But, mm. I mean, it's better than nothing. But, but also, think- like, you got to trust the fact that whoever is running that team still has money to pay you in 20 years. Right. Anyway. Uh, $4 million in 1993 would be $7 million today. What? Mm. Yeah. That's Don't worry about it. Jordan, imagine having Jordan on a $7 million contract. Imagine, <laughs> imagine paying Jordan <laughs> Brooke Lopez contract. Right. That's the minimum. <laughs> that is crazy. Give, him, give Jordan Brooke Lopez money for 10 years. <sighs> and then have him go out and dominate the league. And sign every other star that you want to. Right. Golden State will have a field day with Jordan. Who wouldn't have a field day with Jordan? The Bucks also, have a field day with Jordan. Also, I don't think LeBron James was the highest paid player in the NBA until like last year. Crazy. Uh, wasn't that his thing that he was never the highest paid player in the league because oh, he always no, took pay cuts? Uh, on his team, sorry. He was never the highest paid on his team until last year. Mm. Number three, I am going with Albert Hainsworth. Number two, Gilbert Arenas. Number one, Jamarcus Russell. Matt Castle got a Jamarcus Russell contract. At least he played. Yeah. The, One ten games. He had that Patriots season, and that's where he got this one. Jesus. Cam, what you over here writing down? Look, look, look at him. Look at him. Look, look at him. Look cheap. Look at him cheap. He's been look quiet as a bitch, too. Look at him cheap. I wrote the number for his contract so I could say what his number was. Because I, I get the other ones. Yeah. Uh, Luau Day, Luau Day, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, I thought you had the uh, wrong dang for real. Spoiler. I do. It's right there. Uh, uh, uh. Number five. For but, you. um, yeah, my number five. <laughs> it's going to be all Lakers contracts. <laughs> Luke Wild Dang. <laughs> Fuck him. If it was, that'd be hilarious. Luke Walton. Man. But no, Luke Wild Dang, um, number five. Mine can go quick. Number four, Gilbert Arenas. Um, number three, Jay Cutler. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, now it's F.J. Cutler. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Jaw ass. Um, number two, Eddie Curry. No, oh, I forgot about Eddie Next, Curry. Next, yeah. Yeah. Um, number one, Jamarcus Russell. You see, I put Demarcus. Yeah, I did. I was hoping you said Demarcus sucker to rip your ass. Yeah, no, I'm quick on my feet, B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you, you said what five five? Hmm. Your forty time? Quick yeah, feet? I can do. Yeah, I can do five five. That's fun. Five four. We out here. <laughs> if I scratch a little bit, I'm just trying to get eight. Hey, okay. we got a body gym. I'm out here trying to hit this four five. <laughs> yeah, just like, yeah, right. right okay uh so that's the show this week hope you enjoyed it there you have it that was a lot shorter than i thought it was like we weren't here as long as i thought it was mm. nine o'clock i mean the physical time oh, yeah. yes but the runtime is shorter so with that being said because it's time to go i'm camille point guard of the crew you can catch me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I don't really be on Snapchat like that no more, though. But if you do want to follow me, 
It's at Camille Monet. C A M I L L E M O N A E because your mom is fancy. Thank you, Eric. Bucks Burner on Twitter. Burner. That's all you get now. Um, what? No, I switched it. Um, everyday <laughs> gentleman on Instagram. I couldn't switch to everyday gentleman on Twitter. Um, but yeah, okay, here's two sixteen on Twitter. What's your Snapchat? Oh, uh, okay, here's two sixteen on Snapchat too. You ain't changed that shit yet either. Nah, mm-hmm. I had a lot going on. Be, uh, I get that. And it's your boy T I M. Let me start over again. Sorry. The- this oh your boy T I M K I N Z V number three, aka Ass Ketchum, aka Mr. Give It To Me. You know, dilly not dilly. a closer, but we let him close the every show week. every week. Every, every week. week. It's our own fault. Yeah. Every week. It's our own fault. We do this to ourselves. Y'all take care. Dilly Dilly. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media. Media.